Staying with footy, but on a much more positive note, Perth demon Aidan Tropiano was last night named WAFL's barest, uh, fairest and best, uh, despite his team unfortunately taking out the wooden spoon this season. The 22-year-old midfielder pulled off a last-minute upset coming from three points behind entering into the final round to overtake South Fremantle's Ash and Hams by a single vote. This is how it finished. Well done, Aidan Tropiano of the Perth Football Club. What a nail-biting finish it was. And the man of the moment joins us live this morning. Aidan, good morning to you. Congratulations. How are you feeling? Yeah, thanks very much, mate. It's uh, good to be here. And, um, yeah, the nerves are settled down now. A few celebratory uh, drinks last night at all? <clears throat> yeah, had a few drinks and uh, enjoyed everyone's company and feeling pretty good this morning. Uh, really tense going into the final two or three rounds there. It was anyone's uh, even going into just about the final round there. Uh, talk us through the final part of the night last night. You must have been biting those nails down to the bone. <laughs> oh, yeah, look, I didn't think I would uh, be up there that far. And, um, you know, through, through the year, then there's been some great players all through the year. And, you know, when it got closer and closer, it was, uh, got quite intense and got quite nervous with it all. But, you know, it was, um, yeah, it was a big privilege and honour to have won the medal. Only eight votes separated the top five. Did you get a sense uh, going into last night that it was going to be pretty tight at the top? Um, yeah, I thought that uh, it would be pretty close because uh, all through the year there's been sensational plays and, you know, boys uh, had um, great years at, from all different clubs and it's, it was incredible uh, to be up there with uh, some great players. So, yeah, I did think it would be pretty close. Unfortunately, uh, on a team level, uh, Aiden, the Demons uh, didn't have a great year. Uh, won a couple of matches all season. You polled though, in an impressive 15 games. Was it hard, to, uh, do you think, to, uh, to, you know, to poll so well given that your collective team didn't do so well? Yeah, I guess. Uh, it, it is pretty hard to poll from the bottom. That's why I didn't think I would uh, have a massive chance um, last night. And, you know, it was a massive surprise and it sort of uh, caught me caught me off guard a fair bit and that's why I was probably so nervous with it all but um, you know they're, they're a young team and they're, they're developing and you know. Mm. Well onwards and upwards from here you of course made the switch from East Frio to Perth uh, last season obviously uh, individually at least no regrets. No nah, no regrets at all um, every every choice you make in life uh, you know you just have to take it on the chin and, and keep moving on if it's a good one or a bad decision so you know, from this point of view right now, it's obviously been a great decision and um, learning and growing with Perth has been fantastic and um, I thank East Mountain and Perth for the opportunity to play in Waffle. All right, Wade, we'll let you continue with your celebrations. All the best for the 2016 season with the Demons and hopefully, uh, individually, you can go back to back next year for Sandovers. Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens, mate, <laughs> but uh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. No pressure. Thank you very much, Aiden, for joining us this morning.